The recent controversy of Ted Nugent and his team banning guns at last at the last minute during his concert last night has now started this conversation about where guns are permitted in public and city buildings. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones is live after spending the day getting answers and has reaction from all sides of this issue. Arisha. Well, it may seem like common sense, but not everyone knows where you can carry a gun in Roanoke. But here at the city courthouse, this is one of those places where a gun isn't welcomed. We asked some people in Roanoke what they know about the open carry law. My understanding is you couldn't take a gun into a courthouse. I'm not sure what other government buildings. But Handling your business in the municipal building, a gun will be okay to bring through these doors. You may see someone carrying one during a Roanoke City Council meeting, but back in 2016, city leaders tried to change that policy. We saw an exception to that that allowed localities, not required, but allowed localities to regulate the possession of firearms during um, city council meetings while city council was in session. Uh, that bill was rejected by the General Assembly. The proposal will add Roanoke to a Virginia law that bans open carry in public places of loaded semi-automatic guns with magazines of 20 rounds or more. It would also ban shotguns that hold seven shells or more. According to state code, Callahan says guns are already not allowed in courthouses and on school property. There's an exception in the courthouse when obviously uh, law enforcement officials are allowed to carry their weapons. And I would say obviously law enforcement officers are allowed to carry their weapons in the police department and other places as part of their job. Even with the Second Amendment rights, some gun owners say there are places where firearms may not be appropriate. I think it's fine to have some regulation about where you can and can't and it seems like city council probably would be somewhere where you wouldn't because people get heated in arguments and having people with guns there might not be a great idea. City Attorney Callahan says he's not sure if the city will revisit banning guns in the municipal building. Live in Roanoke, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.